This program is brought to you by Morocco, Kingdom of Light. Located just a few kilometers south of Rabat, Buznika is an idyllic seaside resort which owes in part its great reputation thanks to the splendid golf courses that line the Atlantic Ocean. And it is here that I've decided to tee off my golf travel tales. we are at Bahia Golf Beach, which is nestled in the heart of this preserved park. The 18-hole course has a layout that's full of character, and it requires you to play with finesse and power. It's got these wide fairways, which are quite reminiscent of an American-style course, and also these red earth bunkers just add to some beauty and uniqueness of it. Here we are on the third hole. It's a par five. And where's the green? The challenge here is it's a dog leg to the right behind those trees. But once you make it round that corner, you're blessed with this view of the Atlantic Ocean. Facing the Bahia Golf Club is the Vichy Celestin Spa Hotel, which is stunning and spacious. It's 3,200 square meters. So ladies, if your husband, boyfriend, partner doesn't feel like playing golf, no worries. You can leave them there and go and enjoy your round. now to the Casbah of the Udayas, which is one of the most emblematic places of the Imperial City. And from here, you get this panoramic view of Rabat, where you can be entertained by the surface on the ocean. There are the fishermen in the Greg River, and also you can see the twin city of Saleh. I am totally entranced by the monument there, the historical monument, which is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, complete with lush Andalusian gardens. The museum's adornments, jewelry, and caftans, which are all essential components to Moroccan history, really help you understand the millennium-old legacy, as well as the cultural development of Rabat, the city of light. Well, the play of light and shadow is really a feast for the eyes as you stroll through the street of the consul in the heart of the Medina. It has got a beautiful and tidy market, and it's here that you can buy those handmade goods. Really surreal and charming place. Come here to the new marina to end my day at the restaurant Al Masa, which has got Mediterranean food. And look, we've got a view of the water, of the Hassan Tower, and the owners here, they are seasoned fishmongers. So we can look forward to some delicious seafood, some culinary delights. I've decided to indulge in a round of golf at one of the three courses of the Royal Dar es Salaam Golf Club. It is here at this prestigious course that they host the Hassan II Trophy and the Lela Miram Cup, which count towards the European Tour and the PGA Tour champions. And you can see why. It's a stunning place. So let's get started. What a privilege it is to play on this course, the red. And while being long, the 18 holes are also very technical with many bunkers. And the water actually here to irrigate the course comes recycled from the city. So there's a real respect for nature. Okay, so we're here on the famous ninth. This is a par three and a very tricky one. Let's see how it goes. and what an exceptional challenge that was. Now, don't forget that if you want to play here on the red course, you need to have a handicap of at least 18. But it doesn't matter if you don't, because the Royal Golf Dar es Salaam has got two other courses on which it doesn't matter what your handicap is. Everyone welcome here. Around the city of Rabat, you can also play at the Royal Golf Mo Media, at the Montgomery Rabat, or finally, at the superb nine-hole course at the Busnica Bay Golf. This program is brought to you by Morocco, Kingdom of Light.